A great matchup of two teams, a great atmosphere. It's time for football. Thanks for being Hey everybody, this is Mark Boson, and I'm here to give you guys a video review for Madden NFL 09 All Play for Nintendo Wii. We're now in our third year of Madden on Wii, and with it comes a few new changes, the best overall football experience thus far in the system, and a new title for the game that's sure to draw the eyes of casual players while simultaneously putting hardcore fans on edge. We'll kick it off by showing you some of the general stuff, and it's pretty obvious here that what you've seen is a lot of what we've seen in 07 and 08. You've got the same general interface, uh, the play now is still front and center if you want to do some quick games, and unfortunately, franchise mode and superstar mode uh, haven't changed almost at all since 07 and 08. You do get the return of the mini games and different mini camp modes uh, that you can find in party mode and single player as well. Um, and hey, we're getting the roster update with Favre as well, putting him on the uh, Jets starting line uh, pretty much as soon as the game releases, so you can look forward to that one. In general though, Madden's due for an update on Wii, to be totally honest with you. New interface, I'd like to see party mode be a little bit better. And what's the deal with franchise and superstar mode being almost identical as last year? That's uh, really a bit unexpected and a bit of a shame. There are some pretty impressive changes though, and uh, it does make the game better than 07 and 08, and I'm going to show you why right now. First of all, you've got the all play controls, which, yeah, I can already hear you guys freaking out, are optional. As you can see, this passing play, all play removes the need to pass to specific receivers. So uh, the game's handling it on the fly. You can actually pass with the D-pad if you want to, but you don't have to. So you can point to the right, he'll throw to the right, just like you did there. There's also the single remote mode, which is pretty much the same as it was in family mode play before. I'm not even controlling the running back in this play. I'm just doing the big move, the stiff arms, the spin moves, things like that. Advanced users, switch it on over right away to advanced play. But for those that are casuals that are going to pick up this game specifically because of the all play name, uh, this is what EA wanted them to see first. Kind of springboarding off of the 2-on-2 two -two mode that we had from 07 and 08, there's also the 5-on-5, which is surprisingly fun. I'm laying down some awesome hits here, uh, ripping it up on this tiny little field. It's got a simple look, um, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and it is way better than 2-on-2 two -two was from the last few years. Call Your Shot is where the big changes come, though, this year. And rather than just telling you about it, I mean, that's why we're here at the video review, I want to spend a couple minutes to show you guys a few key plays in action, and, of course, get a little bit of help from the Madden Telestrator that makes a return from 08. First off, check out this TD pass from the new rivalry, Jets versus Packers. Alright, so let's check this first play out. I've got this guy doing a slant right, this guy doing a slant left, and of course this guy is tied to man coverage here, he's tied to man coverage here, and that leaves the back guy here to do all of the zone coverage. Since this is a fake handoff though, you're actually going to want to keep an eye on that guy. Look what happens here. He's going to dash in this way and leaves the entire call your shot uh, slant paths to cross and uh, leave the guy completely open. So uh, that's an example of a nice little TD you got right there. Seven points and a perfect call your shot play to open up on the defense. Then again, hey, that's what the fake handoff is for, right? It opened up that zone. So we're going to take a look at a different play and uh, really use call your shot to uh, do a really unconventional play here. With a four -man front. It's the toss to the right. All right, this one's obviously set up to look like a run play. Uh, you've got the halfback here. He's the main focus. Uh, looks like a run to the right, the way we've got the uh, front line stacked. Um, guys on the left and the right, huge front line. I'm actually going to use that front line, though, in this call your shot. Draw him across the middle, which uh, it's ridiculous, but uh, you'll see it actually ends up working. So we're going to run the play. Uh, you can see him running across there. You even get a defender right there. Did you see that? Try and swat for the ball. Here, we'll rewind it for a second. Check it out. He beats everybody on the front line. Obviously, they're busy with their blocks. And uh, you can see a guy jump, go for the swat. No can do. And uh, an easy first down and then some to uh, yeah, basically dominate the defense on that play as well. So as you can see, call your shot is basically the huge selling point, in my opinion, for this game. Uh, there's also, you know, a new play calling system and uh, some other little tweaks that make it better for casual and hardcore players. Um, you know, visual improvements, things like that. And the new online, which is actually really nice. And uh, you can see a little bit of footage here. There are a few pops every once in a while, a little bit of light going on. But uh, nothing too bad. And there's no friend codes needed. So uh, we can all die happy now because EA did what Nintendo couldn't. In the end, yeah, EA is going for a bit more of the casual market, but All Play also delivers a good game for everybody. So the advanced controls are there. Everything you want is there, whether you are a returning player or somebody that's new to it. And that's why we gave this one an 8.6 and our Editor's Choice Award. It's the best game of football on Wii, hands down, and uh, Call Your Shot definitely changes the game forever. So hopefully EA realizes that and capitalizes on next year. For more, check out the written review at IGN.com.